why AMCA will be a game changer for India. Many of us are very much frustrated with LCA Tejas project. Of course, it's awesome aircraft, but the way Indians has handled it was making it disaster. Thank god that at least now it's inducting into Indian Air Force. Or maybe later, even in the Indian Navy. Several people have doubts on AMCA, that it would be successful program or not. However, there are many reasons, why AMCA wouldn't suffer as much as Tejas did. As Tejas became reality on 4th of January 2001 when this date became historic in the chapters of Indian aeronautical industry, when Tejas made its first flight. Since then, there were many problems faced by the development team for getting the thumbs up from Indian armed forces. Many parts were imported, because there wasn't any local industry in India, which could make these parts. For example, the engines, G.EF-104, 00 ejection seats, Martin Baker, actuators, Moog, Radome, Cobham, missiles, Vimpel NPO, and radar, L2L slash M2032, are of USA. British, USA, Russian and Israeli origin respectively. Since India's defense forces are rapidly gaining strength, it's obvious that it would need plenty of defense equipments. And with new policy of make in India, now several Indian industries are getting involved in defense sector. Like LCA's airframe was totally made by HAL slash now. But now, many private companies are getting involved. So this has created easy path for the LCA and as well as AMCA. So question comes that how much AMCA is Indian? Coming to airframe, it is unofficially reported that l &T will make airframe components. The same company which is going to make for LCA point then it comes to controls which will be made by AD which is a subsidiary of DRDO. Then comes Avionics, which will be made by DRDO's subsidiary CVRDE. Which would be indigenously designed and developed. It would feature Indian navigation system Navic. The Moog actuators will be replaced by indigenously developed actuators manufactured at Hal Nagpur assisted by MTAR Hyderabad and God Reg Mumbai. The actuators are developed by Vikram Sarabhe Space Center, ISRO and the IPR will be transferred to the consortium, HAL, MTAR, God Reg. The fly-by-wire system in Tejas is developed by Barrett Electronics Limited. Then it comes to cockpit element. Cockpit of AMCA is designed there which is the subsidiary of DRDO, and will be manufactured by Indian company Sample which is the same industry which manufactures avionics for Su-30 MKI. AMCA will also feature India 100% designed and developed AESA radar made with GAN, Gallium Nitride. Its head-up display as well as head-up mounted display will be indigenously made by CSIO which is subsidiary of Indian PSU CSIR, the same PSU which manufactures India's supercomputer. The electronic warfare suite is indigenously developed by DARE and DLRL which are subsidiary of DRDO. Most important part is engine and armaments. Although configuration of armaments are unclear, most probability it will carry Indian weapons. Or foreign weapons which are made in India. The part of the engine is still unclear. There is currently two options available. K9 Plus and K10 engine. K9 Plus engine is designed and developed in India. Which would be successor of cavalry. Second offer of K10 engine is, that the engine will be made by joint venture with any foreign country. 
most probably it's US company General Electric who is chosen point J promised DRDO for full access to its core technology and also offered to give 2T for engine for local manufacturing in India. But since K9 Plus will take another decade to operation after so much R&D, it's likely to be on K10. Recent visit made by Manahar Perica to US included the development of K10. There will be total two technology demonstrators and four prototypes which will have its first flight in January 2019 point, and if everything goes as planned, it will start to induct into Indian Air Force from 2021 to 22 point, but naval version might take some time. Many more three to four years. Now question comes, that what will be not made in India? There are reports, that DRDO will consider another option of cockpit display which would be a JV between Hal and Elbit of Israel. If it's chosen then it wouldn't be totally made in India. Then the cockpit speech recognition system will be made by Adassel which is the same company which makes same type of system for F-35. As you can see, AMCA is a big game changer for India cause it will ramp up India's defense industries to a new technological high point. Tejas was a tough call, but that call will bear sweet fruits for India's aerospace industry. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.